Hi folks, uh, I just wanted to introduce the a rank tracker software for Google Places that I've created for myself. It has indeed been a very painstaking process to try and uh, get information about Google rankings for my, for my clients and for my place page. And there's no real software out there that currently does it in the way I wanted it to do. There's a lot of deficiencies in, in how ranks are currently being tracked. In, in most softwares, they're all uh, based around organic rankings and it was very painstaking to, to try and manually do that. So I've developed the software for myself. <coughs> um, please pardon my horrible voice. It's the start of winter here in Sydney. I feel like I'm catching a fever already. And on top of that, I made the mistake of dipping into an ice cream scoop. My partner was making me jealous about it. So I'm now paying an even bigger price. So please bear with me. This is the basic interface of the software. There's two tabs, the Google Settings tab <coughs> and a Rank Tracker tab. Um, I'll explain both tabs in just a second. Basically, you, in the Google Settings tab, you'd set you'd set Google the way you want it to be set before the Rank Tracker runs. That's the whole intent of the Google Settings tab. <coughs> and there's, there's a lot of advantages for doing it the way we've done it. And as I go along with this video, you'll understand the details of that a bit more. <coughs> So let's get straight into it. If I was to select, I'm, I'm currently in Australia, so it's picking, picking up uh, the Australian domain itself, but I don't want to do that for Australia, just for demonstration purposes. I've, I've decided to choose Canada in this instance. There's, there's a lot of other countries that I'm working on and, and testing to see whether we can include that along, include those, include those countries along or not by the time we have this finalized. We'll have those countries included as well. So let's look at Canada as an example for now. <coughs> and I just wanted to say, for example, let's do uh, Montreal restaurants. <coughs> and obviously we only, only want to pick the ones that are not currently ranking on page one. So we'll stick to page one for now. Uh, we'll stick to first page of places for now. And if you... Let's say, okay, let's go to page two and pick um, <coughs> on maybe this one, Chez Little of the something bar of in restaurant. So let's pick on this restaurant and see whether the rankings are coming out the way you want them to. I've, I've already copied the CID in there. So let me just explain the interface to you a little bit here. That's the CID. We're not I'm hoping all of us know what a CID is. You can add the prefix to your keywords and suffix to your keywords, and once you're done with the working of the keywords, you move across to the keywords to analyze, uh, as I'm going to do right in front of your eyes now. So I've got a list of keywords that I've already worked on. Um, and I'm going to move it over to my list of keywords to analyze. After I've done that, there's a few settings that we can uh, tweak. The delay settings is basically a Google search engine courtesy setting. The default is set at four seconds. What it basically means is that the software pauses for four seconds after every keyword is analyzed and it moves on after that, the next keyword. Let me just get, get ranks for you and see where that particular business is ranking for the keywords that we're targeting. <coughs> it's going to take a while because it's pausing four seconds between the keywords. And there we go. So we've got come on to a restaurant. Um, it's currently at nine. Montreal restaurants. The way we just checked that a little while ago, that was twelve, and that sounds correct. Um, the way this this is divided is that uh, it also shows you the pack. Um, so how many results are showing up on the first page that are related to maps? Then it shows what the relevant result against that keyword is in, in terms of the rank, and whether it's on the first page or not. So it's obviously quite obvious that if it's a seven pack and the rank is nine, it's not on the first page. You can actually tweak the number of pages you want to check. So at this point, we we knew that the rank was within five, but you, you could have tweaked it to like 10, 15, 20, or 25 pages. Usually 10 pages is more than enough, because if your business is not on the first 10 pages, it's not there, and you still need to work, but you can still select further if you want to do. It just increases the processing time of the, of the software. So that's pretty much um, what the ranking is all about. And then um, I'm, I'm putting in some graph plotting that I use uh, to include in the reports that I send to the client. 
So uh, you're going to see some um, graphs coming out for the for the keywords with the history, uh, with the history, and based on the keywords the event inserted on there, that'll be those keywords will be available in the drop down here. So you can do an individual graph for each of the keywords, copy them to a clipboard or save it as an image. What's interesting here is you can also, uh, and this is a very very important feature to me. Um, was I could save the project notes along with the projects and, and then simply go file, uh, save the project. And what, what this allows me to do is create any number of projects on, on my hard drive and basically saves it as GPRT extension, which is a Google Places RAM Tracker extension that I've specifically created for this software. And you can save that on your, uh, on your client folders or anywhere else you want and then load them. Um, and check the rank again, and update and copy the images and show them to the client or whatever. But the good thing is also that if you have that file, you can share the file around to other users of the software. And there's one more thing that I wanted to show you about this software, which is actually where I was um, very excited to, to do this because it's virtually impossible at the moment to beat the IP problem of, of Google. And I've actually solved that through through, a, through the Google Settings tab. And I'll show you what I mean right now. You notice we, we put in Montreal restaurants when we last uh, did our query. But what happens when you put only restaurants in the query? So let's say when you put restaurants and you put places, well, you've got Montreal as your current location at the moment. But generally, that location will not be selected. So if I was to clear my browser cache of Internet Explorer, and then go back to Google Canada, and type restaurant, and press enter, you're not going to see anything over here. Okay. But what's very good about this software is once you set the location, you can target keywords that don't have any location mentioned in them. And you can check your business ranking against them as well. So just to demonstrate that further, um, with that setting now complete, as you can see that I've actually completed that setting and mentioned to Google that I want to know everything about Montreal only and not base it on my IP address. So uh, then I just copy the keywords that I wanted to target, add them onto this list, clear these, move those across, let's reduce the delay setting for now, five pages should be fine, let me get the ranks now. The beauty about this bit is that it allows you to target neutral keywords based on the individual uh, location rather than targeting only keywords that have the location mentioned in them specifically. So there you go. So for restaurant, it's uh, on number 10. For restaurant, it's number 11. Now it would be obvious that if I was to change that setting to, say for example, Toronto, that ranking should basically disappear these two should go to zero. It would only be obvious for that to happen. So let's see if that happens or not. Shouldn't be able to find a ranking for a restaurant that's currently located in Montreal. And that, that's it. That's the proof for it. So it works for neutral keywords as well. And that was a very important aspect for me because I tend to target neutral keywords as well, I don't always work with um, the keywords with the location. So hopefully that was a, a good enough introduction for you guys. Um, please do let me know if you have any feedback and um, I'm looking forward to making the software available to you as soon as I can. I'm currently doing some beta testing for some of the countries. Um, there are a few bugs that I've come across that I need to work on, uh, especially related to certain countries that I need to have included. And there's also this graph bit that I wanted to uh, get completed, which is not currently active. I'm looking to finish it quite as soon as possible, really, with my current workload. Um, 
targeting roughly about two weeks, hopefully. So do give me your feedback and let me know if there is any features that you want, and I'll try and include those as well for you. Thank you for watching.